Many people in Brandenburg's Lusatia region depend on the coal mining industry for their livelihoods. But they're worried because Germany has decided to phase out coal-fired power plants. Germany's far-right AFD party is tapping into this fear. Local AFD candidate Stefan Kubitsky, who currently works in a power plant himself, says other parties have no plan for when coal mining is history. Hey, Bernd, it's me. What kind of a crane do we need? What sort was it again? Kubitsky works as a technician in the local coal power plant. Lately, he's been concentrating on a political career. He's hoping to win a seat in the upcoming Brandenburg state elections. Ten years ago, I would never have dreamt of going into politics and being involved in such things. I could have chosen to spend my time fishing and walking the dog, lead an easy life. And being a member of the AFD makes things difficult because people are hostile towards the party. But it's the AFD that's known for inciting hostility. On this day, Kubitsky is campaigning for the AFD in a small rural constituency. The turnout is much higher than he expected. AFD politician Gottfried Curio and party co-leader Alexander Galland are in attendance. They know just what people want to hear. Our own culture is vanishing in public life. Every day, little signs make us feel our homeland is disappearing. Refugee shelters open up next door. We see women in veils and more and more shisha bars. And hardly anyone speaks German on public transport anymore. That's why Germany's fate lies in the hands of AFD voters. Ladies and gentlemen, if the AFD gets into power, we will resume control of our borders. Stefan Kubitsky also knows how to win over locals. The funniest question I was asked was what I think of climate activist Greta Thunberg. I was outraged. And then I simply said, I drive a 5.5 liter V8 with 388 horsepower. So can we just skip this question? The AFD politicians from Berlin, together with Stefan Kubitsky, have a strong influence on these voters. Kubitsky talks like an ordinary guy. The others have their own parliamentary way of speaking. But Kubitsky talks like a normal guy who works in a power plant, and people like that. Many people in Brandenburg appreciate the party's rhetoric. After the collapse of communist East Germany, many people moved to the West. Those who did not have felt at a loss. But now the AFD has entered the political landscape. It denies climate change, stokes xenophobic sentiments, and has been linked to neo-Nazis. Yet despite all this, the AFD is projected to win the Brandenburg state elections. Few people here are willing to comment openly on the AFD's success. That depends on what they want to achieve. That's not clear yet. I guess we'll only find out once they're in power, or when they have influence. But then it's normally too late. Despite these misgivings, the party is expected to win over voters from all the other parties, except for the Greens, who even score points on the issue of climate change in the coal mining region. Party member Lothar Treda Schmidt can only guess at why the AFD is so strong in Brandenburg. People are doing OK, really. And that's why they're prepared to take this mad political gamble. Unemployment is at just 3% here, a national low. And suddenly people are turning to the AFD, going a bit mad or taking risks. Because there is a danger that, should the AFD win the election, its extremist faction could gain control. But that doesn't worry Stefan Kubitsky. I could leave at the drop of a hat if the party develops in any negative direction. But I doubt this will happen. Polls suggest that the AFD is not only set to make major gains in the upcoming elections in Brandenburg, but also in the states of Thuringen and Saxony as well.